Ontario is our home. It's a place rich in stunning beauty and vibrant landscapes. At Ontario Power Generation, we do more than just generate power. We believe we all have a role to play in preserving nature for future generations. These are our stories of how we are working to help protect and nurture Ontario's biodiversity. Welcome to the Power of Nature. Hi, Chris Craig, Senior Forest Technician with South Nation Conservation. Uh, we're located today in St. Isidore on Mark Bercier's farm. Uh, we're just sort of to the northeast of the St. Isidore. Uh, we're standing on the Eco Action buffer site where we are doing riparian buffers on both sides of the municipal drain. So what we've done is, is we call it the edible buffer. So we're planting tree species, shrub species, uh, different edible plants, all in a mix along a five meter buffer strip of the water course. So where each tree was planted, we had to add what was called mycorrhizal. It's a, it's a fungal bacteria that lives in the soil and it actually helps the roots to communicate with each other. So each plant uses different stuff at different times of the year. So it tells the plant where it is, who's producing more of it, how to get the root systems there. And it, what it does is it builds that ecosystem faster. We tried to pick the different species that would be, that we would have utilized before Europeans came. In the past, traditional foods, when we couldn't find a traditional food somewhere on our routes that we normally travel, we would actually take them and we would bring them from one location to the next. A good example are the nut trees. Most people don't realize that nuts are waterborne. So what that means is they transport themselves by water and they get stratified in the ice in the winter time and then in the springtime they're ready to sprout right on the banks. So wherever they get lodged, they'll start to grow and they'll start producing food so that as we come through there in later dates, that food source will be there ready for us so that we're not looking for it, we're not having to hunt for it, we know where it is because we put it there. And there's evidence of this all across North America as we go. As we're looking at climate change, like that, this is what these projects are about, is the climate change and trying to do something more to help slow that down by putting the leaf, the trees out there and the plants, everything to, do, to capture carbon and create oxygen. It's the same thing what we did. We realized we weren't looking at it as, as the, the oxygen and the carbon, but we were looking at it as a food source. So we would migrate those plants. They, they, we would bring them and that's how they got there. And that's what we're doing here in this project. OPG is really, really open to us doing more traditional knowledge stuff and bringing that into the partnerships. It's a great opportunity, it's beneficial for all of us, and it shows how we can work together. Whether it be First Nations, or conservation authorities, or private landowners, private farmers, it's great. It just shows how we can work together, and that's the goal. To learn more about our commitment to biodiversity, visit opg.com biodiversity and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.